to the Halloween Ooh. challenge special. Welcome to watching Philippa shit herself. Philippa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, since it's Halloween, you're probably not a fan of, well, Halloween really, are you? You're more a Christmas gal? I'm a, I'm a Christmas person. I always feel like you're one or the other. Yeah. To be honest, I'm Halloween, you're Christmas. I'm Christmas. Definitely Christmas. Um, so I've picked a movie called The Strangers. It would definitely be in my top three scary movies. So you are brave. Like this is <sighs> scary biscuits. I am absolutely dreading this. So do you know anything about it? No. Nothing? Nothing. Okay. So I'll just read you the wee synopsis. Okay. James Hoyt. Okay. Oh, no, well. What's he up to? Well, he's actually a character, so you don't know. Okay. And Kristen McKay, played by Liv Tyler. Oh, I Stephen know Tyler's that. daughter. Mm-hmm. Um, visit an isolated vacation home. That sounds lovely. You say, why, why would you? I don't know. For peace and quiet, maybe. To enjoy some time together, that's why. Oh. However, there are four... They are in for a rude surprise when three masked assailants make their stay a nightmare. So my favourite thing about that is <laughs> that they said they're in for a rude surprise. A rude surprise? Rude. rude. Why, are they going to be flashed at or something? No, but just like, so obviously things things happen and I wouldn't say... Is it rude? That's so rude of you to do that. <laughs> <laughs> is there rudeness in the film? What? To find rudeness. Like, do we sexy bits like? Is there? Oh wow! Every horror film has to have a sex scene. It's a rule. You're new to that. this. Oh. Listen, you're in for a treat. Right. Um, it's very stressful. It's very intense. I think it's so scary. I don't like. No, sorry. I do. I love ghost ones, and I love just ones like this that are like, oh my god, that could actually happen. And you did voice note me earlier, and you were like, is this based on a true story? I was like, oh, yes. Because that scared you more? Yes. I did watch one scary movie before and I didn't realise it was a scary movie called The Entity. Oh. The Aliens? No. No. Oh. And it was fine. I watched it all the way through and at the end it came up with before the credits. This is based on a true story and although the attacks are still happening, they're less frequent and it's basically a girl getting sexually assaulted by a ghost, a spirit, an entity. Oh, right, yeah. And yes, it, I've it heard freaked of that me one. out. Um, because it was based on a true story yeah I know that's the thing do you know what scares me the most so this is based on a true story it's inspired by true events and what's the difference <laughs> well this isn't play by play exactly what happened but it I know now, I love it whenever Vanessa challenged me this challenge a challenger this challenge well, what, what do you do do you challenge you threw down the threw gauntlet. down the gauntlet I was very nervous so I asked for advice from the Bomb Squad pod guys. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. I asked them, any tips for getting me through watching the film without being scarred for life? Yeah. And if they could suggest any films, that would be easier. But the decision was Vanessa's the anyway. The decision so. was mine. But Aaron McCann did give me some good advice. He just mm-hmm. said, remember, it's Hollywood. Remember, at the end of a scene, yes. somebody said, cut, let's take that again. So That's I very good I'm going into that, into this film with that yeah. in my head. It's only a movie. It's only a movie. That's really good advice, actually. Yeah. And really, I'm just here for the snacks. Yeah, good snackage. I um went to the drive-in cinema. Let's go hydro with Gemma last week. Okay. See, Scream. Scream would be my number one. Mm-hmm. It's not that scary, but for what it is, like see, it's, I it's think wonderful. you should pick Scream for me. There's a bit of comedy in Scream. I heard. No. Not a bit funny. I don't think so. Mm. Maybe. Uh, mm. I don't know. But Drew Barrymore's in it. Mm-hmm. In the opening scene. And obviously she's such a big Hollywood name. So you would think she's in it forever. No. But that opening scene is just. Does she get killed in the opening scene? Yeah. Oh, Spoilers if you haven't seen Scream. It's a bit like Game of Thrones. You think Sean Bean is going to be in it for a season What are you going to ruin season? that for people? Flip's sake. It's been over a year since you haven't seen it now. I know but a spoiler. It. You'll have me up to hide over a spoiler. Well, no, I think he certainly dies in the first few episodes. Well, but have you ever been to the drive-in cinema? No. It's absolutely wonderful. You can go at Christmas Stranded and all. At the That's what I think every time. Um, up the, when we were driving around, Gemma was like, there's people that jump out in masks. I was like, Gemma, no, there's not. 
She's like, there is. I read that online. I was like, well, I was here before last year and that didn't happen. So we drove up, obviously parked up, and then you tune your radio in and all. It's absolutely fantastic. And you get Does pizza. Does it have to be a digital radio? I, my car does not have Oh, no, radio. as long as you, tune, you can tune a radio, though, in your car. Oh, no. Yeah. You can't tune a fish? Huh? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Um... <laughs> The um oh here we've got a Halloween joke for you. Oh tell me. Why do monsters not eat ghosts? Don't know. Tastes like sheet. <laughs> I love it. Um so yeah, so we're watching the movie, uh la la la, and then the next thing <laughs> Jim just goes, Vanessa, Vanessa And I was like, What? And then there was someone at her window and they there had border suits on, a clown mask, which was terrifying, and a Michael Myers mask. So because they're at her window and not beside me, I was like, oh, ha, ha, ha. And she was freaking out. And I was like, oh, it's so funny. And then I just had to go like that. And then there was one at mine. And I just went, why? 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 <laughs> so see, scary. But you're laughing now. But I loved that thrill. I loved it. At the time, I loved it. Do you know why you love it? Tell me. Right. Tell me why. Okay, because our bodies react to fear. Right. By increasing adrenaline. <laughs> and ep- epinephrine. Epinephrine. Is that? <laughs> <laughs> Just drag me. That's epinephrine. Okay. So it increases that in short bursts. And this feeling gives you a natural <sighs> That's high. That's what it is then. I, bet, I wonder is that the same for roller coasters and all that sort of stuff? And it stuff? makes you feel strong and almost euphoric. Mm-hmm. I didn't feel strong. I felt really scared. Although I did have a reaction of like if the window was down, I think it would have punched. Yeah, it gives you that fight or flight. I think sort of. I would have been like, oh. Go so you're a throat. fighter, not a fighter. You wouldn't have ran away. You would have punched in the face. I don't. In that moment, yes, but I don't know. In every other moment, it could be a runner. If you see I me can't running, run fight not fast enough. So I'm gonna hit. Well, that's probably easier. Probably less. But effort. I have no upper body strength. I would kick. How high can you kick? Oh, I can kick high. You kicked your leg yesterday very high. I know. I saw that. So hi, everybody saw my homie and knickers. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, are you ready? No. The only thing is as well, it's obviously, well, tomorrow is officially Halloween, officially, everyone. But tonight there might be Halloween. I said earlier, Halloween singers when I was in work and the wee girl I was talking to absolutely wet herself at me. Why? Because they don't sing anymore. I know. Just trick or treat. Just say trick or treat. I That's had, lazy. We threw a whole song. Do you remember the song? No. Go. <laughs> Halloween is coming and the goose is getting fat. Would, Would you please put a penny in the old man's hat? Old man's hat? If you haven't got a penny, a hypnie will do. If you haven't got a hypnie, God bless you and the old man too. Amazing. Yeah. We have lovely neighbours. Um... I love Jesus. Um, and so every year we went, you know, obviously not a fan of Halloween. So they made us sing, Yes, Jesus Loves Me. Which me and me loved, because me and me love a hymn. But the funniest thing was one year I had this mask and it was a skull, you know, with a big hood. But it had this very clever, for the time, tube that ran down from the chin, down my sleeve, into a little pump that I had in my hand. And it gushed blood down the face. <gasps> So I'm literally, so I remember this to this day. I'm standing at the doorstep, gushing the blood. Jesus loves me this. <laughs> I was like, it just seems very wrong. Yeah. But did it, and then you get to yeah, like a stigmata. Oh. And then they give you a pen. Have you seen that movie? No. Oh, jeepers. But they give you a pencil and a rubber. Oh, well, that, that was nice. That was nice. I liked it. Um, it's better than telling you not to come at all. I know. I thought it was nice. And they did it nicely. Yeah. They, they weren't like throwing holy water and like. All that jazz. No, oh, that's okay. But there you go. Are you ready? No. I have my pillow to hide behind. I might take my glasses off so we don't see it. Mm. Fair. And oh god, I'm trying to get this sore head all over. So it's twenty to seven, so you'll be okay. Might be over nine or half nine. Well, I don't know, but it just feels like an okay time to watch it. It was out in two thousand and eight. So I must have watched it when I was 18. <laughs> um, and I'm going to watch it when I'm 49. 49! Stop it. <laughs> you don't look okay. at Char. So, 
Wish me luck, Wish guys. Wish me luck, Tyler. Yes, so we are. She's very pretty. Why is she doing she? movies like this? Because I've been missing. Is that loud? Elizabeth. Violence, alcohol, you're smoking, foul language, and sexual content. It's like a standard Saturday night for you. It's only 15. I know, I wonder what has, has to happen for it to be an 18, because a lot does happen. <laughs> it's only 15. Mm -hmm. Creepers, creepers. We're not watching that. What was wrong with Casper? That's what I want to know. Ah, Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus is scary. I've never seen it. You've never seen Hocus Pocus? Mm -hmm. Do you know what's scarier than Hocus Pocus? That The witches? Or the Roald Dahl movie? Oh, I don't like Roald Dahl. That's he scary. was weird. His books are too scary. But really, when you think about it, Disney books are scarier. Or like grim fairy tales and all the old bit. Creepy deepy. Mm. I feel really exposed. Do you want a blanket? Oh, Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> right, you're safe to kind of eat snacks now at this point because the start's always slow. But this will help you in how to survive if something like this happens. I'll give you all the I'll just die. No, I'll give you all the top tips. You can scream, for example, just don't answer the phone. Unsolved. This one, don't answer the door. You'll see why. Who was on the phone and screamed? The killers? Not the band, actually. <laughs> Does she wear this outfit the whole way through? Mm. No. That bother you if she did? Yes. <laughs> Why? Too flimsy. Can't fight goats in a goat. <laughs> Ghost. In a flimsy. Ghostbusters. <laughs> that would be a good film. Ghosts. Mm -hmm. Who said anything about ghosts? Bad guys. You can't fight bad guys in a flimsy dress that you wear. You tell vest. that to Wonder Woman. No, she'll wear a dress. She a cape. Super Woman. A cape would feel a bit more difficult. I feel. Now, she just said no to him. I know to marrying him. No, shagging him though? No. He's good enough to shag but not marry? Yeah. And who puts on dirty knickers after that? How do you know they were dirty? Because she didn't get her clean clothes. Oh. Right. Oh, jeez. I can't have my foot in the floor. Somebody's going to grab me from under the sofa. <laughs> Five past four in the morning. In the morning. Don't open the door. Would you ever open the door? This is how you survive this one. And she's no knickers on now. Oh, she's going to be chased by people in a flouncy dress with no knickers on. <laughs> Weird interaction, isn't it? See you later. No. See you later. Do you not feel if your feet are on the floor, somebody's going to grab you from under the sofa? No, because I'm grown up. Bet you put your feet up now. <laughs> <laughs> he took that bucket of ice cream out, one scoop, and left it on the table. See, this is what you'd be marrying. She obviously knows his ways. Ah, but she'll shag him, okay? We well, didn't even get to. Drive and leave her. Let me light your fire. Let me tell you something. Not to leave me nowhere. Fell <laughs> 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 James now. Hope so, he's a key. Did she scream? <laughs> I don't know. Can we hear him? Oh! You see her mask? This is why if I ever get a house, I want it to be one room. <laughs> no windows, no doors.
Mr. Milam. What was that near of? I don't know. She could at least hide. Get the knife. That record's actually good. I real life. I would send me over the edge. It's like sensory overload. Huh? What's that? A knife? Mm hmm. This has to be James or I'm going to die. Look, I need to know, to know, if this ever happens in your life and I tell you there's people, no questions asked, we believe there's people. Okay. We have no time for messy. <laughs> She's like, irrelevant. <laughs> Did you make a Why run? did she break the lamp? I don't know. I think she panicked. Because she couldn't get it turned off. She Do you know what? Off. She's still got that ring on. He'll be getting all excited. <laughs> I can't cope. This was your idea. I know. I forgot how scary this one is. Told you we should have watched Casper. We should have. I actually have a lot of regrets. <laughs> That epi, epi, <laughs> epi, 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 James, we don't need to go on like a hide and seek adventure. We just need to go. I'm not going looking for the bad man. Are you? No. You would get to the car and piss off. Everywhere. Oh, you'll see. James. No. I'm going to go talk to her. Oh! Where'd she go? I'm gone. She's moved. She's still about. No, the funniest thing is, <laughs> she obviously had to run really quick. Like, run like fuck, like, <laughs> to get out of there. Go to pen statues. What? Oh, they wrecked the car. Took his phone. Oh, now you're taking this seriously, James. That's very interesting. I tapped you. Good thing about living here, you have neighbours. Oh no, I wouldn't like to live in your sticks. No, oh, Jesus! Oh. Yeah, shoes on. Oh. Less vulnerable. As much night as everybody in She still no shoes on. Oh. Every time he enters a room, he... I've written on the window. Say? Hello, hello, hello. <coughs> hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Three Paul. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> the time has come. <laughs> oh, fuck. Sorry. <laughs> What's that? What is that? Are you throwing stuff? What are you doing? What was that? You're throwing stuff at the window? Muck. Muck, muck bombs. Me muck bombs. Get her, beat her. Kick her ass. See, my nurse just couldn't take all this hide and seeking. I would just have to try. Would you not be sick of it? You've been like mentally, oh, it's all know. crazy. I was just right. Dear me. Let's go. But why did she just do that and go? Because she's mm -hmm. playing with them. 
He's giving up. He's giving up. Would you rather be stabbed first or second? Well, that's not an option. Oh, is she going to? Yeah, they're all having to go. She's had it in for her since she knocked the door. Here's these poor people. Why are they in there? Are they, are they, what do you call them, Mormons? I think they're maybe Jehovah's Witnesses. Are they recruiting for the Church of the Latter day Saints? I think they are. Do they survive or are they actually dead? The couple? Mm -hmm. Oh, Philip. Uh... It's only stabbing. It's only stabbing. Is that what My mic's dead. Like, yeah. He was shot in the head. Never stabbed many times in the abdomen. When you only saw that, it's a misfight, Lord. You could just be alright. Where's she? There. I mean, would you ever get that close to a dead body? Oh, don't touch, ever. Oh! it wasn't ghosts or yeah. spirits or anything I yeah. could handle it and really we're being very critical but we're doing our, our Barry mean, Norman yeah 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 you know what I mean because we were watching I want to look it up now though to see the real story I swear to do and I don't it was you know if that happened I do feel even Gardy Gossett I could have taken him I think you would have to just do something yeah I'm MAPA trained. I can take him. We'll see. And we've got great WWE experience. Absolutely. He just needed a good choke slam, and as Braden would have been done. Do you know what you could? What would have done him? Mandible claw. What's that? What? Mandible claw. Mister Soko. Because that you could block his windpipe. He kind of already was like a Soko himself. Well Wasn't then, it? that's just the perfect. So, true story is the infamous 1981 Kelly Cabin murders. Four people were killed in a small California resort town. Who were the four? Sue Sharp, her son John, and her daughter Tina, and John's friend Dara, Dana. Well, that's not that story. No, but uh, it was roughly based on that. No, it wasn't. Well, they had to, they, they had to make it all different. Obviously. It was completely different. Well, there's a few. It's based on like three different. I don't want to know. No, I actually don't want to know. I don't want to know. I think I was braver than you. I think you were. <laughs> I think <laughs> you're you actually a wuss. I am. I really am. But why do you like watching it? In conclusion, you were braver than I was. Yes. That wasn't that much of a challenge. I wouldn't choose to watch it. You think you'll have nightmares tonight? No. So I'll double check the doors are locked. So will I. And I'll not be answering if anybody knocks. Trick or treaters. But see now, like in this day and age, if you ring doorbells, do you know you have many devices to contact the police? I don't yeah. think it would be an issue. Just, you know, from that, always keep your phone charged on you. Don't answer the door and know your address of where you are. Keep your shoes on. Keep your shoes on. If, keep your knickers on. If you feel you're under attack by home invaders, get yeah. a weapon and shoes. A weapon and shoes. Because shoes can always be a weapon. But then say, so if, well, now to be fair, that was a, a holiday home, so she it was a strange house to her. But if you're in your own home, you're going to know the hidey holes better than anybody. I don't have hidey holes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have hidey holes in your house? Well, I could hide... 
under the stairs. At the toilet? I know, they'll check that, like, but... <laughs> we just want but I'd be hidden, and then I'd be ready. How can, you, how can you hide? Down the other end, so they'll open the door and be like, huh? But I'll be down the other end, and I'll be like, boom! Ready. Or the cupboard where we hang the coats up, but it's small. I don't think I put them there. Or a classic behind the curtain. <laughs> I just see my feet. I have like wardrobes up, like built in cupboards up the stairs, but they're all full of crap I couldn't hide in. See, that's the thing. I so, well, I'm going to clear out a hiding hole space. Yeah, declutter your home is a good yeah. tip then, too. Yes, because I couldn't fit in many places. And my bad, my, my bad, my bed. Has you know drawers under so you can't hide under a bed. Oh, yeah. I don't think hiding under a bed is a good option anyway. Not with a dust on it. But like if somebody came in here, right, you could sit on your windowsill and close the curtains. And if you had a weapon, right, so they when they open the curtains, they're going to expect you to be right in the middle, but you could be at either side. So once you see them open, you'll get ready stabbed from the side. Yeah. That's really our only option here. There's no gun sink in it. Or... Yeah, should you hide weapons strategically around your house? Have you a baseball bat under your bed or anything? No, but I've always said if I ever lived on my own, I'd have a bat beside the bed. For safety. Ping pong ball? <laughs> <laughs> One of those bats, you know, just the bat with a ball. <laughs> well, I'll I'm coming for you. <laughs> Art of distraction that could work. What sort of bat would you have? But you're not allowed a baseball bat, so any other bat, cricket, cricket bat, that would be a good one. Mm. Just a bat, like an actual vampire <laughs> bat. <laughs> <laughs> Look out! <laughs> oh, well, there you go. What would you give that out of five? Oh, out of five mm -hmm. for what overall enjoyment. Three? Yeah. I like, like it's in my top five, but it really does scare me. As you saw. <laughs> but but why though? Why? I mean, it really wasn't scary. Because I think if that happened to me in real life, I'd absolutely freak out. But do you not think you would do things differently and you would survive it? I don't know. I probably, but just you know the way the music goes and like the knocking and the banging and all the noises and all. It's just all very First well Never have a piano in your house. Never. Or dead animals hung on the wall. No. Or what were the other things? A telephone or a front door. <laughs> <laughs> a mysterious barn with a radio in it. Yeah. Oh, swings, swing set. Swing sets. That wasn't nice. Wind chimes, I feel. Oh, no. Also... Never wind chimes. Um, so if you had a house without all those, then you're good. And you'd need neighbours. Everybody needs good neighbours. Yeah, never live in a house out in the wilderness. Like, even don't even go on holiday. Just, just stay in your house and don't oh, leave. Oh gosh, we went on holiday once to Westport, the Matt Malloy holiday, mm -hmm. and we had rented a cottage, but it was up the flipping mountain. It was on a dirt oh, track, could be. and uh, it was full of stuffed animals. Oh, Amy was just a baby, like. We went, she would have been about three months old. Oh my goodness. And uh, it was down this dirt track road, no one near you or anything. And I was there with my friend Judith, and all the family were there. And we thought, well, for a night, we'll stay in the house and let Claire and Ray go. We'll mm -hmm. mind Amy. Mm -hmm. Let the, everybody else go out for me and a few drinks and listen to music, whatever, and we'll stay and look after Amy. So we stayed, and Amy was sleeping. And, you know, we had. You know, got showered and stuff, and we're drying our hairs and whatever. And uh, the electric went Oh out. no, no. Yeah. <laughs> See that flipping stuffed stoked in the hallway. Oh my and days! Oh, my Nothing worse than stuffed stoked. No, it was horrendous. It oh. was the freakiest anything. No. Did uh, you run to protect Amy, the baby? I, I sort of did. Well, no, I didn't really. But see the baby monitor? See that noise of a baby monitor? Oh, I God. had to turn it off. It was freaking me out. I can't cope. I went to put the stuff stoked in the cupboard, in the whole cupboard, because I couldn't look at it. And then there was other stuffed animals in the cupboard. Oh, no. 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 It was horrendous. Never ending nightmare. But it survived it. So did Amy. That's good, yeah. Maybe that's why I'm just traumatised. She's blaming me. Maybe it was that. Oh, she was three months old. And <laughs> she burned the whole time. Um, 
That yeah, is scary. That was creepy. We went for a drive once. I've never been to St. Cooley's Wells. Mm. It's sort of, I think it's like, like, Kearney direction. Where's that? Like. Oh, uh, Clocky. Clocky. Like uh, Quentin Castle. Yeah. But it's like in a random place. Actually, a guy took me there, Dave, on his motorbike, not our Dave, obviously. What? Yes, it was on a, a date. What? Yeah. With a biker called Dave? Yes, and in hindsight. Did you go pillion? What's that? Right on the back of his bike? Yeah. No way. Yes, it was really good. Um, what happened to Dave? Just, I don't know. Just... Fuck. I know. He sounds good. Mm-hmm. How but, long ago was this? Oh, gosh, like, I don't even know. I think I was still at uni, so between 18 and 21. Um, <laughs> it's been done. <laughs> 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 um, in hindsight though like I think it was only our second date and he took me out here on his motorbike <laughs> in the middle of nowhere night? was it night time? no it was daytime, and it was actually beautiful during the day but when you drive up there's two big pillars with like two big it's like a Celtic like monk site yeah. so there's two big crosses and then like a cow grate so when we went over that it was like Trrr. and I was like where are we what's happening and then there's like a wee burial site of the monk I think I don't know anyway it's beautiful by day but for some reason, me and Aaron and Amy and all decided we'll go at night because we're so brave. So I drove and drove up over the car grate and all. And they were like, woo, parked the car. But they decided they get out and go down. There's loads of steps down mm-hmm. to the bit. And I was like, do you know what? Absolutely no way. So you actually. stayed in the car on your own? Well, because there was a car over here. So I was like, well, there's people in that car over there. So I'm actually all right. I thought what they if were they just were like, murdered? Well, I thought they were like making out or something. You know, I was like, I'll be fine. It's all okay. You know, it's steamy windows. Steamy windows. I was like, listen, they can do their business. I'll watch it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I was flashing my lights. My you were dogging. You were dogging. <laughs> so that was fine. They all went down and then they came back up and got in the car. And we were all, they're all jittery, you know, because we we're all scared. And as I drove, I swear to God, right, as I drove and turned my car out, my car lights hit the other car and it was actually burnt out. But I swear when we all arrived, I think we just assumed that it was a normal car. But see, as soon as we saw that, jeepers, don't talk about high dough. For some reason, our voices went deeper instead of higher. Like, Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> so I sat on my own. Beside a burnt out car? Yes. That was scary. That was really scary. Vanessa? I know. Let's do that. I'll take you. Will you? Will we? Hi. Okay. You're so brave. We'll go now. No, I'm not going to. You know what No, because like Halloween time. Uh, no, but now that if people know we're going, they're going to hide on us and stuff. Mm-hmm. It'll be a secret when okay, we go. Yeah. They'll never know. Well, well done, Philippa. Very Thank brave. you very much. That was great. I, I feel if it had been a film about ghosts or poltergeist or something that you can't control, something that you can't kill, kill or have sort of dominance over. Yeah. But they're just random people. They're just psycho people, but they're just people. Yeah, I always feel that I could I could go against a person, not a ghost yeah. or a demon or something. That'd be yeah. awful. So there we go. Well, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Say good night. Good night. I think I'll be okay sleeping tonight. You will. I could sleep beside Vanessa. Yay. <laughs>